Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Psalm chapter 32, verse 8. But we'll read just 11 verses. We'll read the whole chapter. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for yet another day of life in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that you have spared us yet again that we are able to get up this morning and to acknowledge you firstly in prayer and we, <clears throat> we want that dear Lord that every single moment not just in the morning but every single moment of our lives we are communing with you as you have told us in your word we ought to pray without ceasing it also says the psalmist also said on your word to I meditate day and night and it also said in everything give thanks so it again just testifies that we ought to be in constant communi communication constant communion with you Lord Jesus Christ and I cannot attest, I can confess that this is not the case. So where we are falling short, dear Lord, I just pray that you pick us up, brush us off, set us back on the path of righteousness so that we can actually please you. And in pleasing you, we have to be obedient to your word, to your commands. And it's not... It's not even, yeah, it's not that you just want to push us around. You want to direct us to keep us from certain death. We see and we can testify that every single time that we go off to do things our own self, the end of it is not good. But if we continue in you, again, it always shows that the end of it is good. So dear Lord, I just want to pray that we are continuing in you. And I just pray for forgiveness this morning for each and every soul. That we who have, <coughs> if we ever strayed, if we ever been a disobedient, if we have ever not shown you love, dear Lord, we pray for forgiveness. And I do ask that you make it so that we are not doing these things that are displeasing unto you we have all confidence that you are able to do all things you are the god that created all things for your pleasure and this is why we set our minds on you that's why we petition you each and every day and dear lord jesus christ we would like to ask which we have which is my prayer each and every morning that you continue to help us throughout the times of tests and trials it is written that we we are going to suffer in this world for christ's sake so we cannot be ignorant to this nor should we be amazed because it is written and if it's written it must come to pass because you are God that cannot lie, and all things that proceed out of your mouth must come to pass. So all we do, we ask each and every day that you continue to help us throughout the tests and trials, to keep us strong, to keep us diligent, to keep us unmoved, to keep our minds stayed on you and on heavenly things, to not be taken away with the cares of the, this life, the lust of the flesh, the desires of the eyes and the pride of life but that we who are yours as we ask abide in you now and forevermore lord jesus our prayer for the youth is that you continue to lead them in the way knowledge and truth of who you are that you use those who are in their lives to show that light of christ because all of us should be lights in the world. But you are the true light. So we only point back to you, Lord Jesus. And that they are <clears throat> admonished and raised up in this knowledge and truth. 
so when they are of age they shall never neglect nor reject you and my prayer for those who are in charge is that you continue to help us to bear a true example of you lord jesus christ to the youth and that you continue to help to promote to sustain to nurture to put your hedge of protection around godly marriages and the union thereof that the enemy won't take footing or not should not take a foothold in these in this story and i just pray that you continue to give us health and strength that we are able to minister unto you and in ministering unto you is to show your love one towards another lead us therefore lord jesus christ in spirit and in truth edify us by your word this morning grant us our daily bread in the name of jesus christ our lord to the glory of god our heavenly father we pray amen all right <clears throat> so psalm 32 blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered amen blessed is the man unto whom the lord imputeth not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile when I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer, Selah. I acknowledged my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgression unto thee, Un sorry, unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance, Selah. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Amen. The number Bible says here, um, remission of sins, a great blessing. And I like, I really like how it started off here. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose, and in whose spirit there is no guile. <clears throat> and this is what we really want, like especially knowing us as fallible beings we want that the lord is merciful unto us when we do fall short not to say that we should be falling short willy-nilly right but when we do fall short we are glad and we trust that god is a merciful god but as i always say he's also a just god so we have to be mindful of what we do because at the end of the day he will have mercy upon whom he will have mercy right and <clears throat> we know that there is none that can save besides him so if we fall outside his mercy there is no there's nothing else out there for us right so we always petition and call upon his mercies and his love towards us 
so yeah it's a nice little chapter this i know i read this chapter a few times but to be honest anytime i read it is it's timely so i just hopefully it's ho i hope that it's timely for everyone who hears this as, as it is timely for me and anything that you want to share as always you can drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org and as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.